Hey, Tammy here with Well Oiled Life, and I'm going to show you how to get uh, multiple bottles out of one bottle of the Thieves dish soap. And typically, you can, I get, I know other people do different, maybe they get four or whatever, I get six. And so I have one that has still a little bit left from the last time I made bottles out of it. So I have seven, but I'm going to get six. So I'm going to divide this one bottle equally into these bottles. So I'm just going to squeeze some soap in there. And I'm going to try and get these as even as possible. So it works out that it's about, I'm going to say three quarters of an inch at the bottom to an inch. And I'm just doing that in each bottle. And so this one needs more. And here we go. And so I really like this. This has um, been working really well for our family for dish detergent. It um, makes the bottle go a long way. Please don't bop the camera, Caleb. Sorry. And so, actually, I could leave some in the bottom of this. I'm going to, I might get seven bottles in here at the same amount. So maybe I'm going to get seven bottles. So I'm leaving. So if you can see, this is how much. There we go. Is how much I'm putting in the bottom of each bottle. And so, technically, I guess I got almost eight bottles here. And so then I like to mix it with some Dr. Bronner's. So this is Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap in the Unscented, which is the Baby Unscented. And I'm going to put an equal amount of that in each bottle. It is lit more runny than consistency than the other, uh, the Young Living Soap. So it will go quicker. And you could easily pill it, spill it over the side. So do this over the sink. And this is a great natural alternative that's safe for your family. There's no toxins in here in even the Dr. Bronner's or the Thieves dish soap. So, you know, your dishes are being cleaned without leaving any kind of chemical residue on your dishes, which is really nice to know. Everything out there seems to have some kind of hidden ingredients that can do some sort of damage. And so I'm just going to balance these ones out a little more because one has more than the other. There we go, and then my Dr. Bronner's. So this is a, a quite a liquidy soap, so I really like to use it on a sponge. I put a little bit on my sponge which lathers really nicely, then I wash my dishes, and then I rinse my dishes. And if for some reason you seem to have like a greasy residue, that is a great time to use a dishcloth. And uh, even on my plastics, then I don't, I'm not left with any kind of greasy residue. All right, so then I'm adding a little bit of baking soda to each one. And the, the opening is really small, so I put, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon's worth. So I just scoop a few in each bottle. Yeah, Caleb. I need lemon. You what need you lemon. I have, see, in the fridge door. He's doing his science. We are homeschooling, and he is doing a science experiment on taste buds. And he needs lemon. So if there is no lemon in the door, Caleb, I will have to try and pick one up later today. Okay, because I need some lemon and I need to put two glasses of vinegar and the, I need three glasses of Okay, well, we'll water. do that experiment later, okay? Okay. Because um, I'm doing my video right now? <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. All right, so I am just scooping. I'm not really measuring this. Science this is not a big yeah, deal for exactly how much is in there. Um, if you do have sensitive skin... 
you may want to go with less. Um, I know some people get irritated by using baking soda on the skin, others not so much. I'm going down to grab a Okay. And we're almost done here. So in total I probably had a good tablespoon, maybe a little more in this cup and I'm basically using it all up between these eight bottles. And then I like to add a little extra grease cutting power just because where I have diluted it, I've diluted the concentration of the thieves um, in it. So I'm adding probably six to eight drops in each bottle of some added lemon oil for the added benefit of cutting the grease. You could use citrus, any of the citrus oils. You could use citrus fresh, you could use orange, lime, whatever you really like for um, a little added aroma to your oils, uh, your cleaner. You could also add some extra drops of thieves if you prefer. I tend to just stick with the lemon. I have this really nice big bottle of lemon. Look at the size of that bottle. I got that from uh, one of the Christmas Advent calendars. It was in one of the drawers. So if you signed up with a business account and you're like an aromatherapist or a massage therapist and, and you use oils for your practice, you can get, sign up and get an account and get this size bottle as compared to, let's say, let's see, do I have a little bottle handy? I don't. I don't have a little bottle handy, but the little 5 mil bottles are much smaller. All right, and then the last thing that we're going to do before we give these a shake is we're going to just take some distilled water and top each bottle off. And so I'm just going to show you one and then I'll do the rest later. So you could use a funnel if you prefer. Uh, I don't lose too much water most of the time as long as I'm watching what I'm doing. And I tend to scoop any extra baking soda in there and then just put a lid back on. And you do want to make sure it's closed and then just gently shake to mix everything. And I do that probably for about a minute each bottle because there's a lot of different consistencies in there. There's the baking soda, there's oil, there's um, two different cleaners in there, and the water. And so you wanna mix it really good. And maybe even the first time or two that you use it, you might want to do this in case something settled. But I find once I've used the bottle for a little bit, I don't need to keep doing that. And there we go. I have my full bottles of Thieves Dish Soap. And I'm just going to show you how nicely it lathers. So I take a sponge, I get it wet. i got to open my bottle here. It's slippery because i got cleaners all on it. The, all right. So my sponge is wet. No soap. No soap. Getting it wet. And I just put a little squirt on, and then you squeeze, and can you see all the soap it's making? And that's what I wash my dishes with, and they get nice and clean. All right, thank you.